is my Jan favorites video. I still can't believe that I actually managed to do all 12 uh, 2017 favorites videos, which I think is really exciting. And I'm really looking forward to doing them this year as well. So let's begin with my Jan favorites. Okay, number one on my list is something that I've been obsessed with, I think, since December. It is the custard cruffin at uh, Mag Street Bakery that, like, they have every Sunday at this bake sale at the restaurant called The Table. Now, it is the most amazing thing I've ever eaten. Like, I love croissants and if you're someone who loves croissants, this is like <gasps> heavenly. It's a custard cruffin, so it's this big bomb, okay? And as you like cut it open or bite into it, it's full of custard, like proper custard. And it is like one of the nicest, yummiest things I have ever eaten. Like. I dream of a custard gruffin at least once a day. That is definitely my food favorite of the month. Okay, number two is my Archetype Planner. Now, I've done a whole video about my planners. This is not the only one I use. I will link that here if you've missed it. But Jan is very exciting for me because it's like a new year, a new month, and a new planner. So a new planner is always exciting. I feel like you have to fill out the first few pages and like, uh, you know, think of goals for the year and all of that, which is really, really exciting. And I've been using this a lot this month, so this is definitely on my list. Okay, up next, we have my favorite movie. It has to be The Post. We watched a few movies this month. There was Darkest Star, The Post, and one more, I think. But The Post, hands down, has to be my favorite for the month. Meryl Streep and Tom Hanks together, what an incredible, like, combination that is. And just the, the whole movie was just really... Um, entertaining and I mean I love Meryl Streep movies so I think for me this definitely was an amazing movie and if you haven't watched it yet I think it's still in cinema so make sure you watch it because it's a great movie uh... <laughs> okay so my next favorite is this little thing now Decathlon opened a store in town and uh, we went there and I bought this along with like yoga mats and stuff this was one of those things I thought I would never use, you know, where you go into a shop and buy it and then you're like, huh, you know, wasted purchase. Weber was like, why are you even buying this? But oh my god, like it was like six, seven hundred rupees, but it's like this electric little massager and works on batteries. And oh my god, it is heavenly. Like it's definitely not like major, but it gets like your basic knots and it just feels really good. Like, I mean, <laughs> I can't stop doing this. I love that it has this muscling technique. I don't I don't know if there's a word for that in English, but you know when you like you, you can just put pressure with these three knobs which really works and it comes on automatically. So when you put pressure on this is when it starts like vibrating. I get really tight in my shoulder area and my neck area cuz I'm always on a computer and like this. So yeah. I have been loving this this month and I can't seem to stop once I start. Okay, next up we have my favorite lipstick or lip balm or gloss or whatever you want to call it of the month, which is the one that I'm wearing. It's this one from Tony Moly. It was in my Korean haul. Again, if you haven't seen that yet, check it out here. It's just this little, you know, like crayon-like lipstick. It says Petite Bunny Gloss Bar. Um, it's a bit shiny comes on really easily and um, it's just a really really pretty pink like I've been using this a lot since I got back from Korea even yesterday in fact someone asked me on my snapchat what's the shade you're wearing this is the one but the only thing is it doesn't last like you've got to keep reapplying it if you eat or drink or anything comes off really easily but it does look great now one of you lovely shroffers uh, you know sent me a message on snapchat I'm going to put that here saying I should do my favorite moment of the month in my favorites as well. So this time I'm adding my favorite moment for Jan as well. So there were lots of favorite moments like because I love some moments in Korea and lots of other moments. But I think hands down for me the favorite moment of Jan has to be the moment I saw Web of uh, while I was running the marathon. This is a video that he shot of waiting for me with Gatorade. Um, now, I've in all the marathons I've run, Bebo has come to cheer me on for a couple, but this was literally me just passing him. And um, honestly, when you see someone, like a familiar face when you're running a marathon, it's like an energy booster. Like when you play games, you know, where you get those little bottles of energy boosters on the top. That is what seeing a familiar face does to you when you're running a marathon. This was one of my toughest marathons for sure, uh, where I was struggling a bit. And to see his face was just like, 
okay i can do this so uh yeah and this year like there was no one like usually my nephews come to cheer me on this year they overslept uh my parents were traveling so i did see people i knew but like to see someone you're close to really makes a big big difference and that was my favorite moment and i'm glad he got it on camera because now i have that forever and uh yeah that was my favorite moment Speaking of marathons, my next favorite is this one. It is a sports bra. It is the sports bra from Nike. Now I'm not sure if this one has a name. So I think I discovered this sports bra end of December, beginning Jan. Uh, closer to the marathon, I usually buy new gear. This year I wore the outfit that I wore two years ago. In fact, I think I just wore newer tights, the same top, and this sports bra. Now you know I bought this sports bra because I felt like a lot of my older ones weren't working for me, and oh my god, I cannot tell you how comfortable this thing is. So what I love about it is a, it has these built-in uh, cups, so the cups don't have to be removed when you wash them. Otherwise, I feel like they all get bent, and you know, if you have those sports bras, you know what I mean. And then you end up having like lumpy-looking sports bras, which happens a lot to me. So um, this has inbuilt cups, so you don't really need to do like that. And nothing happens to them. I've been chucking this in the washing machine and you can see it looks pretty much as good as new. So yeah, I really, really love this one. And what I love about it is that it gives you the support you need without like, you know, making you like pachak. <laughs> like when, you know, I wear a lot of sports bras, it's kind of like uh, where you can barely breathe, but you've got like the right kind of support. This gives you the support and is incredibly comfy. And also if you're a runner, which something that's really important to me is like deeper cuts on the inside so my shoulder blades are free because i don't like any restrictive stuff when i'm running i like like to be free this works really really well for that as well so been loving this all through jan and that reminds me my one week break after the marathon is over need to start running again okay lovelies now it's time for my favorite song now i don't know if a lot of you use apple music but i've been using it and i make all these playlists and if you want i can link my running playlist below because a lot of people asked about this on snapchat and i sent it to some of them i didn't know that there was an option but someone told me you can send a link and people can see it so yeah i will put the details in the description if any of you guys want to see the playlists i have they're all public you can see them my two favorite songs are not new songs but they are songs that i heard a lot in jan because it's my running playlist and this is what i was listening to all throughout so when i'm Gearing up for the marathon, I kind of set a playlist every year, which is what I did like in December. And then I listen to that playlist throughout and I don't shuffle the songs. So I know at this point is when I would be at this, you know, like kilometer mark or so. So after the 10 kilometer mark, I put like peppier music or more inspirational music because that's when I need it. And I always start with the um, like the animal song by savage garden because that's what i've done since the first one it's kind of become a thing now so yeah i will link the whole playlist for you guys if anyone's interested but my two favorite songs are songs that i've been running to a lot this month they're not new songs number one is me too by megan trainer i love this song oh. if i was you i'd wanna be me too i'd wanna be me too Okay, I'm gonna stop now. That is uh, my favorite song for this time's like running playlist. But there's another song that I've been listening to for years. It's really, really weird. A lot of you are gonna judge me for this, but I'm gonna put it out there. It is Halla Bol, a song by Dalen Mendy. I don't know if you guys have watched the movie Goal. It had John Abraham in it. It released many years ago. And I actually watched this movie. Like, it's really weird. My friend Nandini and me, we, we had just finished one of our law exams and we just wanted to go for a movie. And this was the only thing playing then. And we went for this movie and it was empty, okay? Like, the cinema was empty and we went nuts. Like, we were actually dancing um, in, like, our seats and standing up and stuff because we were so deprived after our exams. And um, the songs in the movie, I remember, were really, really nice. Somehow, I took to running with this song and I thought it was really inspirational. And I started running with this, and okay. I do not know how I know the song, why I know the song, why I hear the song so much, but yeah, every year I listen to it when I run the marathon. It really gives you that josh and that power to go on and be like, I can do this. So 
um yeah halla bol is a power song that is on my favorites list i never thought i would be saying this out loud but yep then my next favorite is from the fashion category so i kind of rediscovered these flats that i'm wearing right now i don't know if i can show you these i'm going to try or oh, not the sole but like the shoe can you see that <laughs> okay i will put another shot in there where you can see them clearly um i kind of forgot about these i bought them in australia last year and uh, i totally totally forgot about them you know when you have lots of shoes and they get put somewhere and you forget and i rediscovered them in jan and i've been wearing them with a vengeance like everybody is like do you have no other shoes like you're wearing the same pair every day uh but yeah i love 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 these shoes they're super comfortable like we bought them from this random store in australia i've totally forgotten the name as well but yeah like i have been wearing these through jan and i think they're that really nice mix between like formal and casual but like funky i don't, I don't know how to explain it but i've been loving them okay time for my favorite shows now um number one has to be this is us so they've got new episodes out for all the this is us fans and uh, wow they are interesting episodes guys so uh yeah season 2 this is us um it continues so this show is like fantastic and i cannot get enough of this show like i'm i'm watching it on hotstar but i think it's also showing on star world like the other day i was eating dinner with my mom and it was on star world and it's like the newest episode so Uh, yeah, definitely watch this is us. That is like one of my favorite favorite shows of all time. Then we have Grace and Frankie again, which is an amazing show. For those of you who haven't watched it, it's on Netflix. I think they are also on what season three now. I'm not sure if it's two or three, but it's the new season that's out. And I'm pretty much almost done with it. I have just two episodes left. These women are hilarious, and like it's one of the nicest shows on Netflix. So definitely check that out. Then the next. show that we have is kind of bizarre it's a bit mad it's end of the world <laughs> excuse my language but that's the name of the show and uh, it's as bizarre as it sounds um it's about two like teenagers and like the stuff that happens in their life i'm not going to reveal more to you guys it's a bit bizarre and a bit mad but like i quite enjoyed it on netflix i did yeah i liked it and the last show that i've been watching is one day at a time again new season just dropped on netflix Love 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 that show. It's really funny. It's really one of those like shows you would probably watch on TV but it's on Netflix and it's super super funny. And I think uh Rita Moreno who is the grandma is my favorite 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 person in the show. Love 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 her. And yeah, totally worth watching just for her. And I think that's all the shows. Yep. So guys, those were my Jan favorites. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and make sure you comment with your January favorites. Could be anything, beauty, fashion, food, anything. See you guys. Bye.